Meanwhile, what I could really do with is a nice friendly snake call out to clear my mind. Just received a call from Martin who runs an animal rescue centre here in South Wales and he in turn has received a call from a distressed member of the public who believes they have an adder in their garden. Now, adders, of course, are venomous, and although they'll do anything to avoid conflict with a human being, there's always the potential of somebody getting bitten. But although it's highly, highly unlikely that that bite would be fatal, if you are bitten, it's definitely a trip to the hospital. Hey, uh, Martin, how's Hi, things? Thanks ever so much for coming. No, that's OK. Um, we've been called out to this address. The gentleman thinks he's got an adder in the garden. Obviously, he's seen some babies. Um, this one's a lot bigger and he's obviously concerned because he's not sure whether it is or not. Um, so we don't really deal with things like that. And obviously, that's why we've called you out to help if you can. Not a problem at all. This is the gentleman yeah, here. this is Ken. It's me. Hi, Reese. Hello, Ken. Yeah, nice to meet you. Ken, Matthew, yeah. Nice to meet you, you sir. Yeah. So what have we got? Well, we've got a snake, which uh, not really sure what type of snake it is. And we thought we'd best get some professional advice. I, I think you've done the right thing because if you're a little bit concerned because you've got young grandchildren that's and your right, daughter yeah. are not that fussed of snakes. No, so no, indeed not. I, I know that's your, your primary worry here, but uh, I'd like to get eyes on to exactly where you last saw the snake and, uh, yeah, and we okay. can go from we there. There we are. In the interest that this could be something a little bit dangerous because we're not sure if it's an adder, not that an adder is dangerous, but it is venomous, and I don't want, yeah. want to get anyone bitten at all, and I don't want to stress the animal out at all. No. Is it possible I could ask you gentlemen just to wait around the corner while I investigate? Yeah, is that sure. okay? Not Thank you. Okay. Ah. It's a grass snake. That's your snake right there. And I can see just a handful of scales and about that much of the snake. But from that, I can tell you that that is a grass snake. I'm going to see if I can just gently grab her out. There she is. There. Hello. There. A little bit of huffing and puffing. Oh, and that tremendous grass steak smell. <laughs> You can probably smell that from over there, can you, Ken? You can. It's quite potent, isn't it? It's basically her way of saying that uh, she'd rather not be picked up and moved. And you can imagine if you were a fox and you just sort of had a sniff in there to investigate what animal that was, you wouldn't hang around for, for long. Oh, now, this is a fantastic behaviour. Can you see this? Yes, I can, yeah. This animal is feigning death. So what she's done, she's basically given you that horrible, stinky smell and because we still haven't let her go, she's now pretending I'm, I'm now dead. In oh, fact, if I turn right. around, yeah. you can see she'll come straight back to life again. <laughs> yes, yeah, quick recovery. Yep. Yeah. Now, Ken, yes. this animal is causing you no harm whatsoever. It, it's no. not a venomous animal. They'll normally be hunting frogs and toads, um, but they will even take the occasional mollusks, so things like... Uh, slugs and snails, which will yes. be keeping your, your gardens nice and, and healthy up there. What's the chances that you consider leaving the animal here? Oh, yes, yeah, we are. we'd be more than happy to let it go in the garden, yeah. yeah Fabulous. Indeed. Should we let it go just at the yeah, top, though? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. OK. Wow, this really does uh, back on to a beautiful piece of grassland, doesn't it? Yeah. This is absolutely perfect to release her, so... Do you want to say goodbye? Yes, <laughs> I, I prefer not to get too close, but...